In his recent book, The Uncomfortable Truth About Racism, John Barnes unapologetically gives his thoughts and beliefs about the causes, effects and solutions for racism in society. It's part autobiography and part strategy on dealing with racism at a deeper and more conscious level. For many years, Barnes has been an activist for anti-racism and has been very vocal on the issue in the media. While his focus is on anti-blackness, he also advocates for other marginalised groups at the same time, including the Muslim community. He strongly believes that everyone who is disenfranchised needs to stand up together in the fight against racism, bigotry and inequality. He explains white privilege. It's all about power and the long, painful history behind the relationship. He states that white people are in a position of power globally and ethnic minorities are not. Therefore, when black people are targeted with racist comments, banter, microaggressions, there are much bigger repercussions of this behaviour on society as a whole. And it reinforces the power dynamic and racism embedded in our institutions and psyche. According to Barnes, things have only changed on the surface because we are still fighting the same racism in the institutions of this country and deep entrenched beliefs. Barnes states clearly that to get rid of racism in industries like football and the police, you need to get rid of racism in society first. Another hard hitting point he makes is that racism has not only been instilled in Britain and the West, but it is also firmly instilled in former colonised countries as well. For centuries, they have been made to feel that they are inferior. Barnes lays a large portion of accountability in the hands of the media as they feel racism with sensational headlines. He states that if you use the same headlines again and again and again, they start to embed. It is a way of programming people's minds and a form of propaganda. This is why studying history and learning about different people is very important. We need to educate ourselves about the world, colonialism and understand the past in order to grow and not relive the same mistakes again. John Barnes says, society needs to learn about its own history and culture to understand how we got to this position of such unconscious superiority and inferiority.